Good morning to all. Today we are going to discuss a new topic. Today we are going to discuss about flowers, fruits and seeds. In the last few classes we discussed about the different parts of a plant. So which are the different parts of a plant? Root, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. And we discussed about root, stem and leaves. So today let's discuss about the other parts of a plant. Starting with flowers. So do you know which is the most beautiful part of a plant? That is the flower, right? It is the most beautiful part of a plant. You can see different flowers, rose, jasmine, all these are examples for flowers and they looks different in their colors, in their shape, in their size, etc. And what about their smell? Some have very good smell. So flower is the most beautiful part of a plant. And do you know which is the reproductive part of a plant? That is the flower. Flower is the reproductive part of a plant. The flower changes into fruits. That is the papaya flower that forms papaya. The orange flower that forms orange. The orange flower forms orange. So the flower changes into fruits. So we all know that plants prepare food by itself. And plants store their extra food in their different parts. And the plants store extra food in their flowers. And the flowers of plants are eaten as food. For example, broccoli, cauliflower, all these are flowers of a plant where the plant store their extra food in their flowers. And this can be eaten as food. So the most beautiful part of a plant is the flower. And which is the reproductive part of a plant? That is the flower. And the flower changes into roots. Coming to the next one, that is fruits. So we all like fruits, right? There are many kinds of fruits. Apple, orange, banana, all these are examples for fruits. And fruits are the tastiest part of a plant, right? It is the tastiest part of a plant. So fruits are very juicy and plushy. So we all like fruits. There are many kinds of fruits. So there are seeds that hide inside the fruits. Right. Some fruits have one seed whereas some fruits have many seeds. So which uh, fruit has one seed? That is mango. Then what about fruits with many seeds? Papaya, watermelon, all these are examples for fruits with many seeds. So which is the tastiest part of a plant? That is the fruit. And the seeds hide inside the fruit. So what about seeds? As we discussed, some fruits have one seed, whereas some fruits have many seeds. The seeds hide inside the fruit. And most Fruits have seeds and seeds have a baby plant in it and when this baby plant gets enough water, food and sunlight, it grows into a new plant. So the seed has baby plant in it and we know that for a plant to grow, it needs air, water and food. So when the baby plant gets proper air, water and food, it grows into a new plant. The plants store food in their seeds and the food is used by the baby plant while it grows. So the seeds have baby plant in it and when it gets proper air, water and sunlight, it grows into a new plant and most fruits have seeds. So a new plant grows from a seed. So these are the different parts of a plant. 
So which are the different parts of a plant that we have discussed? Root, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. And fruits have seeds in it. And the seeds grows into a new plant. Next, you have activity in page number 23. So go through that. That is activity zone and project zone. So go through the activity and do it. And once you are done, you can submit in Microsoft Teams. Then coming to the next, that is about great scientist. That is Jean Senebier. He was the first to show that plants absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen only in the presence of sunlight. So he was the scientist to prove that plants absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen only in the presence of sunlight. So we are done with the chapter. So you can go through the exercise, complete your exercise. So we'll meet in the next class with a new chapter. Till then, thank you.